are here at the parking lot of Black House MMA, and I am here with Blake Bulletproof Drew! Bulletproof Drew, I am in the house, baby, and I will be fighting Saturday, September 21st for Lights Out Promotion here in Los Angeles, fighting co-main event for the light heavyweight strap, baby. So tune in, like I said, September 21st. But today, we're out here in the parking lot doing a parking lot interview, baby. Woo! Let's make it happen. Yes! So who are you fighting on the 21st? So on September 21st, I'll be fighting a guy named Andre Vasilenko, who's three and one out of High Stand Fight Academy in Glendale. He is also the Smash Global Light Heavyweight Champion. So we'll be fighting for the Lights Out Extreme Fighting uh, 205 pound belt. So he's already the Smash Global 205 pound champion. We'll be seeing who the better man is. And um, I'll tell you guys right now that I'm going to be the better man. And it's going to end in the first round. I'm going to be bringing the pain, baby. Hand grenades and elbows. That's what's on the menu. There you go. I mean, speaking of personal record. I'm currently eight and five. I'm on a four fight win streak. I haven't lost in about two and a half years. The last time I lost was December of 2016 and I went to sleep in a chokehold, um, you know, which I'm very proud of because I tell people there's, there's no quitting me. You're gonna have to kill me to get me to stop fighting. And, um, and it showed my last fight that I'm not gonna stop until I'm unconscious or dead. Well, I haven't been dead yet, but <laughs> unconscious, you know? And um, so like I said, eight and five, I'm a two time, World champion, purple belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, five time North American heavyweight submission wrestling champion. Like I said, eight and five, uh, former gladiator challenge, middleweight and light heavyweight champion. I'm just a feared badass amongst feared badasses that likes to put smiles on faces. I serve up two things ass whoopings and smiles, baby. I'm putting the fun in funeral and the laughter in manslaughter, baby. This is a full contact combat sport. So how do you prepare? I mean, there's also that mental aspect, not all physical, right? Absolutely. So I would say that's one of my biggest advantages is my mental aspects of preparation. So I have a mental coach named Matthias Narducci. And I'm Matthias. Rage coaches him up in terms of science. You use science to get the best out of athletes. Mentally, uh, True writes down certain goals. When we talk about the goals. And then we go over it and I do, uh, let's say, neuro-linguistic programming, hypnosis, and just instill it into his brain. We give him certain cues, give him certain cues that he needs to trigger in the ring or the cage. Wow. Who does a lot of uh, visualization and, and um, mental exercise drills, neuro linguistic programming and things to um, help prepare me mentally for these big challenges and getting getting prepared to perform in front of a big crowd and a, and a high pressure situation. And in terms of the physical stuff, I think a lot of people have a better understanding of the physical preparation that goes into a fight in terms of the cardio and, and technical training all my MMA striking coach and Kenny's my MMA wrestling coach. I'm Rage. Fighting is one of the hardest things to do, especially MMA. It's constant preparation and you've got to be in control of every little aspect of your life and it's hours upon hours every week of mental, physical, even emotional training. Like 10 years from now, what do you see yourself? So, um, I absolutely have long-term goals um, and shorter-term goals. And so, I mean, if you want to start talking long-term where they say like a 10-year plan, I mean, my long-term, like my life's work, what I call the legacy that I want to leave behind, when people bring up my name, Blake Troop, what, what comes to mind when they're like, oh, Blake Troop, what do people bring up? Do I want them to like, oh, that guy was the most amazing fighter ever? <laughs> yes. I mean, that sounds cool, but there's there's deeper meaning in, in life for me. There's more than to it, right? More right? than the Do I want people to say I was a badass fighter 100%? I'm not saying that I don't want that to be the case, but I want to have an even bigger impact on the world. When people say Blake Troop, what I want to, them to think of is that guy encouraged me to believe in myself. Now, second of all, believing in your dreams, that your dreams are attainable. A hundred years ago, if you had said that you wanted to go to the moon, you would have been laughed out of the room. <laughs> laughed out of the room. People would have thought you were it's true. crazy. It's true. If you said you wanted to go to the moon now, that's really not that crazy. People live in space for extended periods of time. There's a space station. You want to go to Mars? That's not even that crazy. But you got to believe that this is possible. So the true. How did you come about with the name? I mean, we, we... So, um, yeah, um, so with, with Bulletproof Troop, my last name's Troop, so I've always kind of that's been... That's for real. Yeah, my that's last name. That's not an alias that's, or anything. No, the, yeah, my last name on my birth certificate, certificate's Troop, so I've always been a big fan of military stuff. I have two tattoos, a camouflage four-leaf cloak. Show them, and show my, them all. Show them all. Show them. Yeah, but, I cannot see it. But so, oh, I got oh, two oh, tattoos, oh, 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 no. and they're both camouflage. I've always been big in camouflage and stuff. And so, um, I started fighting five years ago to, today, actually. Uh, yeah, thank happy, you. Happy five years anniversary. So, and when I first started fighting, um, 
I had, a, I did my logo. I had my little hand grenade logo and stuff, but I wasn't, I didn't do Bulletproof Troop and I fought. I didn't make the smartest choices early in my career to really do something completely different. And that's when I started Bulletproof Troop. Um, I started rocking the gold chain. I started doing a there lot more entertainment related things. Um, like I said, calling myself Bulletproof Troop and um, a lot more of the branding and the merchandise and yeah, entertainment, the talking shit right? on the internet. Yeah. Um, when I really stepped up a lot of the outside of the cage things that I was doing to um, help my career. I'm calling myself Bulletproof Troop and doing the whole, almost like a professional wrestling gimmick in fighting. Because um, the end of the day, people are watching fighting to be entertained. Same reason people open Instagram, to be entertained. Yeah. Same reason people turn on the TV, to be entertained. So I've tried to find ways that are to be entertaining, that are genuine to who I am, and it's caught on very well. Where, where can they get your merchandise? So you can go to at Bulletproof Troop on Instagram, shoot me a message, or bulletproofstroop.com, pick up some merch. I got jerseys, I got I got so much fresh merch. It's, just go go peep it yeah. and pick yourself up this something is... fresh. I got stuff for all the Bulletproof Troopers and the Bulletproof Troopettes. My girl shit is fresh as fuck, ladies. High heels and head kicks all day. He himself is a marketing machine for his merchandise. I bet you got a lot of fans. You're one of the most exciting, most intriguing personality in the MMA, uh, LFA, and both wrestling. It's what's the latest and greatest with uh, Bulletproof. So how can they follow Yes, yeah, so you? stay tuned on Facebook. Search for Blake Bulletproof Troop. Um, I got an athlete page on there. You can add me, Blake Troop. Instagram, at Bulletproof Troop. And then Twitter, Big Troop 22. I don't really use my Twitter enough, but if y'all start tweeting at me, I'll probably start tweeting back. Thank you, Blake, for this interview. I really Absolutely. appreciate it. It's my honor, my honor, with you sitting here with me at the parking lot of Black House MMA. Salamat. Marami salamat, Bo. My buhay on Filipinas. <laughs> Hand grenades, elbows, and big brother jujitsu. Bulletproof <laughs> troop coming to a household near you. <laughs> oh, Blake, bulletproof troop! Single or taken? <laughs> single and taken. I mean, I'm single, but I'm taken by my goals and dreams, you know?